Hey viewers, E36 Fanatics, Steven here, and today I'm going to show you a quick video on power window diagnosis on a BMW E36. So the first thing I always do when I'm trying to diagnose a power window is of course I take off the uh, door panel and everything, and once I do that, I go ahead and take a look at the regulator and the rails because whenever I look at a BMW and look at the rails, they're almost, or the, uh, the regulator, the two gliders, they're almost always in bad condition. And the slider rail that the window actually slides on, which is right here, which goes all up, um, it's almost always unlubricated at this point. When this slider rail and these two rails right here are unlubricated and maybe the plastic is broken, this creates a lot more work for the motor window motor to do and the window to actually go up. So this can create a problem with the window actually working and it can slide off the rail. It can cause a number of issues and cause your window not to be working. So the first thing I do is I take a look at these uh, slider, these plastic sliders, and I look to see if they're intact. So I see that the linchpin right here is intact, and the slider is as well. Now the little one is a little bit, the uh, one on the right is a little bit harder to see, but I can tell that it's in pretty good shape. However, if you look at the rail, these, these two slider rails right here typically have a, a type of lubricant on them to keep to keep these plastic sliders sliding really well um, so they they slide really nice and puts less stress on the regulator and the motor and looking at this glider rail right here um, I can tell that it, it's not lubricated at this point and that it's probably causing a lot more stress on the window so what I do is I take grease and I take a small brush and I apply it to these rails right here. And that will make the, that, that will give you less issues down the road and help keep your regulator and your motor in good shape. One other common issue with the window motor and regulator is that there is actually a bushing that is in between the motor and the regulator. Um, I believe it's a rubber bushing and unfortunately these bushings go bad over time and what they cause is when your window uh, when your window is going up it'll cause the motor to think that that something is in its way and it'll cause the common problem with E36's that the window will go up a bit and then go back down an inch and then go up a bit and then go back down an inch that is commonly caused by this bushing that's in between the um, the motor and the regulator. Another another sure sign that it's this bushing in between the motor and the regulator is that it'll if you're holding down the mo down the switch, holding down the switch to go up or down on the motor, uh, it'll you you'll hear the regulator and the motor make this kind of uh, kind of a scratching sound or this this kind of crunching sound really and that's where the motor and the regulator will because the bushing is worn out it'll actually slip a bit and unfortunately like i said that's a that's a very common problem with these e36s is that bushing in between the motor and the regulator will go bad on this car the issue my little brother was having was that the window would go up a little bit and then go back down, then up a bit and go back down. And at this point, I'm pretty certain that the bushing in between the motor and the regulator is the source of the problem. So uh, I'm going to have to pull this entire regulator and the motor to go ahead and replace that. Now, if you can hear your motor spinning, but your regulator's not moving, very likely it's your regulator and it's going to need to be replaced. Now, if your motor is not spinning, if you can't hear your motor spinning, then that could be several other issues. Now, what I've noticed in these older cars 
is that a lot of the time these connections right here to the motor um, sometimes they get loosened up or the wiring has become frayed um, if that's your case it could very likely be a wiring issue um, on your motor and the big thing that I like to try and do is I like to pull these connections out and I like to just just take a look on the inside and the motor and then take a look right here and then I like to just pop them back in because sometimes these connections just get popped out or they become loose over time and all it takes is to pop them out and pop them back in now the issue could be with your wiring in these older cars sometimes the wiring especially especially right here where your rub where this rubber cover is sometimes the wiring uh, inside here becomes frayed or broken and it goes bad and the best solution to that I've found if the wire is broken is a, putting it back together and just electrical uh, putting electrical tape over it uh, and that'll take care of that but so if that's not your issue then it may very well be that you have a frayed wire somewhere around here. And one of the ways to check that as well is to just play with the wiring right here, just to move it around a bit. And sometimes that'll make the connection to where your, uh, your regulator will start, your window will start working again. And if that's the issue, that's no fix. You actually need to go in there and find the wire and tape it up but it could definitely tell you that that is the issue. So, looking at my switches, this is the, uh, this is one of the other first things I like to check if my power window's not working, because it's really easy to take a look at. Simply just pop up, simply just t take a small screwdriver or your fingernail and pop your switch out and then just switch your wire so let me see this one is going to this window right here and so maybe I think it's the switch that is the issue so just pull this wire off and switch it to uh, to say this switch right here all the switches, no matter what window it is, well, except for the middle one, uh, they do the same thing. So if you think your switch is possibly the culprit, just take the wire and trade it off with another one of the switches that the window, that uh, with another window switch that's working fine, and test it that way. And of course, if the, uh, if the window now works with the other switch, then you know you just have a switch issue and you just have to switch out the switch, which is very easy to do. So last but not least, take a look at your fuse box. And if your, if your issue still isn't resolved, it could very well be that a fuse, a uh, fuse has gone bad. Now, the most obvious ones to take a look at are the window lift front and the window lift rear, which is 14 and 19 on uh, this car's fuse box. But you also got to take a look at the anti-theft alarm system because that is tied into the power window uh, wiring. Take a look at the fuses and the relays as well, um, just in case one of those could be bad that's causing your power window not to work. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all have a good one.